um, my TRVL. I, I'm not in that game. I'm not in the game of selling in a bull market. Even though I could have sold at a large, a big profit, I'm, I'm not really in the in the mood of moving the market with selling TRVL. I'm trying to buy, but I haven't bought any recently, even though the price is really good, because I actually I'm just waiting for this. Yeah. So for me, this is a big event. I want to see some kind of BTC capitulation. And I do want to see this uh, BTC dominance get into my area of interest of resistance. <laughs> That's going to give me the confidence to 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 add more TRVL to even though right now the price is really good. Yeah, it's really good. The the thing about TRVL you have to bear in mind and is that um, it moves a little bit, but it's actually quite a lot. Yeah, so. Right now we're getting to lower prices. I think it's going to slow down. It has been slowing down a little bit. Yeah. As we come down here into these lower prices, we're, we're going to slow down a little bit. Uh, doesn't mean we can't go down more, but we are trying to slow down. But what I'm really looking for is BTC to capitulate, some kind of capitulation. I'm looking for BTC D to get into my area of resistance. Yeah. Uh, and so I don't really know when that's going to happen um and that's kind of like a real trigger isn't it so it's a bit of a trigger this is btcd on the right this is uh trv on the left oh, no it isn't that's futures that's a cme so look at that one so there's no clue here there's nothing um but really what i want want to see on the right is i want to see this go here and then i want to see where this lands okay and so i think i think a lot of people might i don't know i don't know what people are feeling to be honest with you i think in my mind i think a lot of people are bullish but we're just having a correction but looking at the price action looking at the future where the price needs to defend well what i need to do to defend the price uh, to make it look bullish again so obviously i'm in i'm on that mindset i'm on the mindset of, of making this really bullish right and so right now we've kind of had a this 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 and now what now what okay and in the context of the future where bitcoin could crash the only thing that i want here and i don't really care where is a higher low uh, and of, of course my mood has changed a little bit it's been changing you know so people have been watching my videos uh i've been telling people you know like 5.5 .5 was was an important level wasn't it i did say that and i said that we back tested it 5.5 .5. that's what happened there yeah so i haven't i haven't been telling people to sell but obviously I, I have been giving people correct information about the charts and none of this is financial advice. People have to make their own decisions about how they trade. I'm just giving people an overall analysis of what needs to happen for upwards price action and what needs to happen for continued downwards price action. So obviously 5.5 .5 was a key level that we lost. Uh, now, in my mind, what I'm thinking to myself is the one thing I need, I want to avoid in this potential capitulative event, capitulation in the future, is an all-time low, right? This is a scam wick, ignore that wick. Uh, this is the all-time low, it's at 1.9 or so, or so 1.97, something like that, here. And in the same way that we've been putting lower highs here, uh, and we've been putting lower lows here, now what i want to see here is some kind of higher low i really want to see that yeah i don't really care where it comes honestly uh, i think uh it could come anywhere and it would make sense it would make sense for the higher low i don't know we're coming to the value area low. it would make sense here but I, I i'm not i don't think we're ready for that yet just because of bitcoin so Obviously, obviously Bitcoin is causing problems 
again we're into the we're into a good area now golden pocket value very low um we're into a good area now for the price to find support but i'm not really too worried where yeah so i've got these higher time frame fib um lines you've got the 786 which is at 29226 and then you've got the 886 which is at 24373 okay as long as we put in a higher low, I'm not really worried personally. And I don't really, I'm not too fast that we might lose, potentially lose the value area low. As long as we are able to put in a higher low somewhere and not take out the, the all time low. I think that's going to be confirmation for a lot of people that the bottom is in because then you're looking at a higher time frame, triple bottom with a higher low. The right shoulder is a higher low. That tells you that after all of this buying and selling in the market in this last period, which is basically from October onwards, that enough value has come in and left, come and gone, that the price has finally come down to a higher low. It just means that the, the, the balance or the equilibrium of the market has gone up, the, the floor has gone up and it gives people the confidence to keep on buying if you put in a higher low here because people like to buy at the floor at the at the at the bottom that's where people like they what they're looking for confirmation but speculatively a higher low here and then you can if we start seeing the price bottom out and start to turn then people can start accumulating as the price starts to turn okay so my my only condition in this kind of price action is a higher is a higher low okay if I don't see that, if we see a lower low, God forbid, like honestly, I think that would be pretty detrimental. <laughs> I don't know what's going, what would be going wrong if that would be, if that happens. Okay. I, I can't answer that question. I think there'd be some serious problems that need to be addressed and we'd have to first find out what those problems are. And it's potent, it would have, to, it would potentially have something to do with uh, utility, I guess, or lack of utility in the short term but I've, i think a lot of people who are investing in this are, are looking at it in long term and higher time frames so i don't necessarily think we're going to get that kind of down downward knee jerk reaction to come all the way down to the all-time low but just be prepared for that be prepared for the possibility of a btc capitulation event where we do see suddenly we see a drop like that for whatever reason reasons that i can't explain and if you see that suddenly BTCD um, is rolling into our resistance zone, yeah? And then if you see that BTC is actually coming into some kind of big support level, yeah? Could be anything really, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna play out, but you know, could it come into the golden pocket here and find support? Yeah at a key weekly level down here yeah it's a weekly level that's a golden pocket that's exactly where you want to buy isn't it that's the right place uh, and if we see that does that mean bitcoin has bottomed out here it is possible you know i don't think that just because i'm bearish on bitcoin it means i think bitcoin is going to go to zero of course it's possible for the price to come back here to the golden pocket to some order uh so this weekly level this final line of support and to squeeze up for a higher low here you know we could bitcoin can do that bitcoin can go up it can make higher lower highs but it can start putting in higher lows here until it eventually pops it could totally do that so i'm not saying bitcoin is going to zero i'm not saying that at all but i, I do think that bitcoin dominance is important I don't see why we don't go up there. And I think I'd like that to line up with um, TRVL kind of coming to some kind of major level. Uh, we've lost a lot of levels, so I don't really know where it would come in to, <laughs> to find support. Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, but in my mind right now, just to keep it simple, high low for me is okay. And if we were to come down to here, about 2.3 or 4. 
down support. It'd be a very deep correction, right? But it, it could potentially be an amazing opportunity. Yeah. And, and then what you want to see is, I don't know if you want to see an immediate reaction. Yeah. But maybe you want to see the price fail to go down. So you see here, at these lows you took out the low we didn't really have an immediate reaction but the price failed to go down here like a failed auction so kind of here you want to see some kind of failure for the price to go down and then just to get right back above some kind of previously lost uh area yeah like 30 or 31 cents that's kind of what you want to see and then if you start seeing that then you'll be thinking to yourself what would you be thinking you think higher low here deep correction higher low maybe the low is in you'd be thinking that triple bottom you think you triple bottom on a higher time frame yeah uh, and so i think it's really important that people have that mindset if we can defend the high low like i don't know if people how people are managing their finances and i'm not here to give you any advice but i think it would be very um helpful if anyone who is enthusiastic about trvl like me would have a little bit of fiat reserved for the last line of defense <laughs> in the context of this overall price action and overall price range um and so you're asking me what is the last line of defense um if i take this fib then that's this going to help us is it so let me do this again just take this fib from this low here to this pivot high you do a full fib oh one one Okay. In my mind, the last line of the fence is this 886 at 2, 0.024374. Okay. In my mind, that's the literally the last line of the fence. If by that time we can't get enough bullishness, whatever reason, I'm not predicting this, I'm just saying, whatever reason, that is your last line of fence. That's where bulls have to turn out and that's where bears have to be stopped yeah because if you see continued selling here and not enough buying not enough bulls turn out here but but bears continue their their onslaught then where are they heading where are they taking the price well they're taking to the all-time low i don't think we want to make an all-time low yeah I don't, I don't think that's a good idea okay um and if it happens Then we we really are in a downtrend, huh? then that's the problem, and that's the problem with the price action here, and that's why I don't want to see it. I don't want to see us in a downtrend. I want to see us in a reversal trend, a rever some kind of reversal, and so just on these, oh, this is a long way. I'm not. I don't know how this is going to play out, but um, why is this like this? I don't know. Anyway. Um, see here we missed the low here of this channel that midpoint didn't really react on the way down we did a little bit and then it dropped um, other, otherwise you, you do put in a lower low otherwise you do put in a low low and then what happens then well potentially i mean this, this is the thing I, I don't really i don't really want to kind of contemplate price action in price discovery to the downside uh because it's not fun um but let, let's say for whatever reason we do take out the all-time low yeah then what do you want to see that okay i just want you to be this is what we want to see if you do take out the all-time low yeah otherwise you can't make this can never be really in the in the in the context of the bull market this becomes extremely bearish yeah what if you don't see an all-time if you don't see an, a high after a low then what happens next yeah i'm not saying this is going to happen i'm just preparing you. if you put in an all-time low here and you can't see a v-shaped recovery to take out that high that's what you'd want to see really impulsive move take out 
then you'll end up going up maybe a failed v-shape with a lower high for that that's the problem that's the problem when you when you have a failed v and you just put in a lower high it just tries to go because what happens is people buy here and as the price ascends you know from here to here they're already 2x or whatever 3x 300 percent up on their value they'll sell into that yeah so they won't really hold out for higher and the only way that you can get higher is if you have more buying than selling and that more buying than selling continues through to your higher prices so it become it's it's a bullish it's one crazy bullish impulse that takes us past 12 cents uh from an all-time low so if you see that that's fine too that would be fine too yeah uh, and, and so that would be the only way to recover in my opinion the only other way to recover if you don't have that kind of behavior and I, and I, and I, and I don't know if this is going to happen i'm mean, just speculative right you go up you they get sold into that high, lower high but now now when you come back here you hold the original all-time low um for what we were trying to do now which is to form some kind of inverse head and shoulders but failed you still try and do it but slightly later this whole thing in my opinion is problematic if this all this price action happens i don't want to see it i think in the context of a low market cap project like d travel which is extremely bullish fundamentally i think the, the i think it would just show some real weakness uh in the way people buy and hold and the way people uh, are huddling for higher or huddling for longer yeah and i think that would have to be addressed we, i can address it and we can address it but these are signs i'm not expecting it and the other reason why i'm not expecting it is because i've already told people that uh, i'm in the process of selling a property and i'm going to put a buy wall somewhere here wherever i feel like this level needs to be defended at all costs i will put a buy wall yeah and, and I'll, I'll just absorb any more selling past a certain point i don't know where it's going to be actually i'm still like look right now you see the, the golden pocket has we've kind of lost it so i wouldn't put a buy wall there because the price still wants to go lower i'd wait for the price to to try and find as low as it can can get because you want to exhaust all the sellers and then i'll be putting a buy wall and seeing if i can absorb the price and i'll be telling people i'll be doing that too um so in my mind i'm thinking the last line of defense is this a86 it's just an arbitrary fib line it doesn't really have any meaning and obviously confluence is going to be the best uh area for support here would be good right now actually to be honest with you like just here um just into the bottom side of the golden pocket into this value area low and high time let me see yeah, you've got lots of daily levels there too so we're coming into quite good a strong area of liquidity right now see that a pretty good area for the price to find support here so let's see i just want to see what happens right see if people are interested and you can still you can see that there's absorption going on and i like that so people are actually listening to me and i and i and i thank you for that this is obviously some idiot market bought no need to do that yeah you don't need to market buy in this market this is a market limit orders just absorbing the selling you see that that's why you get these flat lines because someone is putting an order and they're just absorbing the selling and that is the correct way to just absorb all of the selling we just have to get through to bitcoin capitulating without a trv or making another all-time low i think that's the only thing that needs to happen yeah so at some point in the future when bitcoin finally <coughs> does that and then we just have to put in a higher low and a higher time frame that's all we really have to do and then that's it then then you know that i think that would be a job well done and then we can start going up and i think then most of altcoins would have bottomed out and, and again now this would be a good place to that that would be a good place to buy just like most other altcoins yeah so i wouldn't say it's just trv it'll be other altcoins too right uh so that's trvl and definitely don't 